running late. We hope we make it to our connecting flight, which takes us to our final destination. GPS says it will take an hour and how long? Like 20 minutes, but I think it's gonna take us two hours because we can't go 80 kilometers an hour around <laughs> these corners. car in to Enterprise and then check in because they would not let us do an online check-in which is what we normally do and I don't have a printer so that's okay I know you can put it on your phone but that scares me if my phone dies or I don't know something happens my phone's not working and it's a small airport so it shouldn't be bad now that we've traveled Ireland and visited Ireland I would have to say if I were to do it again and I don't mean visiting Dublin but like countryside I would hire a tour guide or um, Airbnb has experienced hosts. If you're just looking for someone to show you around, there's actually people who will do that in every area of this country, just about. So I think I would look on Airbnb, go to experiences, I would type in Donegal, Ireland and see, because I saw a woman yesterday on Sleeve League Cliffs. It looked like that's what she was doing. She was probably an Airbnb host, uh, experience host, where she took the guests um, from another country to her area that she knows all about and show them the you know area, tell them about the history, probably have lunch and um, drive them. It just makes it so much less stressful. And like I said, you could record, take pictures, you could sit back and relax and not worry about getting lost and they tell you all about the area. That's my recommendation, unless you're a brave soul and like to be alone and find an adventure on your own. That's what I would do in the future in a country that I'm not familiar with. I would hire an experienced host because I don't know if I'd wanna go on a big tour with a bunch of other people I don't know. I don't mind small groups of people like a host would have. They usually don't take more than six, ten people top. Sometimes just you and your friends or your family. And I prefer that smaller. Um, this way it's just easier to get around. So yeah, that's, I'm going to look into that for the future. And if you're interested in beer tasting or wine tasting or cheese tasting or whatever country you're in or uh, bicycling through San Francisco or want to learn how to cook Spanish food there's anything you want to know how to do in any country you know whatever it is that they do there's somebody offering that most likely on Airbnb where are we going in seven and a half kilometers turn left onto N56 this is why you leave several hours ahead of time to the airport especially in an area you don't know it's kind of different to be on a road like this that is actually going to take us to an airport that's going to take us to our next destination. I feel like I'm lost in the middle of <laughs> the countryside. I am in the countryside, but I don't think we're lost. Not according to our trusty Garmin. Quite a few potholes, so I'm not sure if we're going <laughs> to... Well, how do I want to say it? we got to make it. I just hope we're on the right track. The GPS says we are, but there's literally no houses there's windmills and there's sheep. It doesn't feel like it's a road. and 56 and I think the GPS decided to take us through the countryside which was probably not necessary just saw signs for deer and I was wondering if 
there were that type of animal because I didn't see any. And what were you saying about the deer? They have the biggest population of red deer, I believe, in the world that's left. Wow. Another lesson we've learned is to carry our map. I had the AAA maps for Ireland, and I didn't bring it thinking... Well, I sort of forgot it, but also I was thinking during the week before we left, well, maybe I don't need it because we do have the uh, phones, the Google Maps, and maybe I'll get the GPS for the car. Little did I know how expensive that was. Big mistake. But I didn't have much choice because if I didn't have this and paid the extra, we would have been lost, lost because our phone and Google Maps was not working out in the countryside. So I should have had a paper map on me. So I will never go to another country without a paper map in tow. Thank God for AAA. I get them for free because I pay a membership fee once a year and I get oh almost as many maps and tour books I want for free. They mail them to me. So that's pretty awesome. So we're 10 minutes away from the airport and this sure doesn't look like a road that leads to an airport. GPS says we're okay, unless maybe it just took us off the main road again for a shortcut. I don't know. Is that the ocean? Are we at the right spot? It's the airport. In one kilometer, turn right onto the cart. Where's the airport? It's probably close. Well, it says we're only a few minutes away. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't see an airport. I think we're lost. One kilometer, we make a right on. What's that say? German cart? In 900 meters, turn right onto Drumna cart. That's how you say it. Seven minutes away from the airport. I still don't see it, and I don't see any airplanes. I hope to God that we're in the right spot. I hope we're not late. I don't want to miss our plane because we have a connecting flight to our next location. Did you read about the airport? They only have two flights out a day. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. So that's why I'm not seeing airplanes flying around. So we might be okay. I think we're lost. Somebody. Uh oh. It's funny that they accept rental cars drop off here. Maybe that's why it was so expensive. It's definitely more expensive when you drop your car off at a different location. Driving back to Dublin was three and a half hours and I didn't want to risk being late driving all that way. There it is. Hope we make it to our connecting flight, which takes us to our final destination. We barely made it on the plane, but we are on here heading to London. We had a run from our arrival to Dublin to the uh, Aer Lingus. I'll tell you our experience of Aer Lingus later. Take off.